Let's start by going to AWS Code Pipeline. If you don't have a Code Pipeline project set up, you'll be created with a snazzy welcome page. Just click Get Started. From here, we should be sent to step one of creating a new pipeline. The first step asks for a pipeline name. I'm going to set ours to Producaton. Once we've done that, we can click Next Step. Step two is going to ask us to configure our source provider. For this project, we need to choose GitHub. Once we're connected to GitHub, we can then select the repository and branch that we want to connect to. This is going to let Code Pipeline know which branch it should listen to for changes. If you wanted to use a branch other than Master for Builds, Producaton, then you'd specify it here. After we've configured our source, we can click Next Step and move to Step 3. Step 3 is where we select our build provider. There are a number of options available, but we're going to be using AWS Code Build. Once we've chosen that, we're going to select Create a New Build Project. This will expand a list of configuration options that need to be set. For our project, I'm going to set the following. Configure your project, project name, Producaton build, environment, environment image, use an image managed by AWS Code Build, operating system, Ubuntu, runtime, Docker, and version. Everything else will leave as the default. Our configuration should look similar to this. Once we've completed that, we can click Save Build Project, which will create the code build project. Then we can click Next Step, which will take us to Step 4. On Step 4, we will be configuring our deploy. For this, we'll need to select Amazon ECS from the Deployment Provider dropdown. Once we have chosen our deployment provider, we should see a set of expanded options. From here, we need to select our cluster, service, and image file name. The image file name is the artifact we set up in our buildspec.yml. After we've made the changes, we can click Next Step and move to Step 5. In Step 5, we need to configure our service role. I'm going to simply click the Create Role button, which will open a new tab and click Allow. This should create our IAM role and close the window. I should now be back at Step 5. Now we can click on Next Step which should just be an overview of the configuration changes we've made along the way. We can verify that everything looks correct and click Create Pipeline. If everything was successful, we should now be looking at our new deployment pipeline. Once the new pipeline was created, it kicked off the first run, based on the latest master branch, or the branch specified during the code build setup. However, this build will fail, because our new IAM role that was generated for the AWS code build user doesn't have permissions to access our repository. To fix that, we need to jump over to the IAM dashboard, click Roles in the left navigation menu, and find our code build role. Ours is Code Build Producaton Build Service Role. Once we've found the code build role, we need to select the user, which takes us to the role summary page. From there, we need to click Attach Policy and search for Amazon EC2 Container Registry Power User. Once we've found that policy, we need to select it and click Attach Policy at the bottom. Now, we should be redirected back to our Role Summary page, and it should look like this. Once we've verified our IAM role has the correct permissions, we can go back to the pipeline we created. If we look at the broken step, we can see the Retry button. If we click that, it should pick up where the build broke except this time our IAM role has the correct permissions. So let's click retry. Now, if we'll wait a few minutes, we'll see our Docker image builds successfully and gets rolled out to our production service. That's a good start. Now, when we merge code into master, hopefully through pull requests that have been reviewed, we no longer have to worry about manually building Docker images pushing those images to our repository, and rolling out new deploys for our service. In today's video, we set up our code pipeline. After configuring it for a couple minutes, we deployed it. This automation will save us a lot of wasted time.